to give you a little bit of background as, as, a, as a, a scientific analysis of uh, what is happening actually and I'm very glad that uh, ENCA you can you know uh, you know allude to that uh, third force yeah. that is at play there and as you know the incumbent president uh, because we're talking about elections has been very you know loud and clear uh, to name those who are after the instability in the eastern part of Congo and of course we we want to mention as well all the unethical greedness of uh, you know capitalism and uh, uh, without considering the masses of the people without considering the suffering that you know the Congolese have been enduring for the past more than 20 years in that region uh, and that uh, have been overlooked by the international you know community uh, and that you know sparks questions as uh, do we really have that intention of helping this country to be at peace? Uh, we see a president here who is trying his best to bring about peace in the eastern part of Congo, but then we, we, we see other forces mm. trying to work you know, against what he is doing. And I, on the ground right now, and I'm so sad to continue to say that people are dying, people are being displaced, millions of people are suffering, uh, you know, because of the greatness of multinationals, because of uh, greatness of leaders in the region, and we know exactly who we're talking about here. We know who is backing the rebels in the eastern part of Congo. What, what are the reports saying about who the backers are? And, and the, the United Nations report are very clear on that regard. We've got the mapping report as well that is very clear. At, uh, you know, indicating that the countries like Rwanda mm. are involved in backing, you know, the rebels in the eastern part of the Congo. And uh, scientifically, you can prove that there are references that you go to and you see who are the people involved in uh, that sad situation 